then switching the mic to somewhat of a competitor, right? Can we, can, can we say that? Like, oh, the, uh, oh no! <laughs> now I have to f minutes with bad jokes. So. It was kind of bad. <laughs> no problem. So the competition goes really deep that he's Indeed. now destroying your equipment. Uh, yeah. Is this good now? It's on on, yeah, okay. it's on on. Uh, uh, Jelmer? Yeah, thumbs go up. Something might happen there soon, I hope. It's, yeah, yeah. it's kind it of... Goes, a it, goes, it, goes. It, it, it was looking good over there, perfect over there. And this is like slowly coming there, I hope. And but then commercial television came along. Since <laughs> <laughs> so when this commercial television been here in Finland? <laughs> Last year? <laughs> oh, 80. 80 seconds. Uh, that's before the Netherlands, I think. 25 in the Netherlands? Yeah. Uh, Perfect. Um, so, without any further ado, uh, Alexi from uh, Ull. Yes. Thanks. Uh, hello, everyone. I um, don't know you too well too much. Uh, I just a few guys like raising hands, but not more than that. So, just go with the flow and in the end ask everything you think might be relevant from your point of view. So I just try to put something about this theme, Open Ule. Um, originally it was about APIs, then we were thinking a bit more about open data, and now I try to cover both bases and actually a bit more. Also, hopefully from the strategic point of view. Uh, a bit about my background, uh, and the reason why it was rolling was because everything was automated, so when you plug it's going for 20 minutes. Uh, I try to keep it in there. Uh, this is our organizational chart. So I'm here the within the internet media, I guess, because for me, well, I just come to the work. I try to make things happen. And this is what I tried to make happen before I came to Ule. So I was a minister at the Open Ministry. It's a Finnish mm. peculiarity. We are doing uh, crowdsourced lawmaking. So these, all of these are ideas, and some of these have gotten to the, to the parliament, like equal marriages being debated, and actually that's the one that we were able to go through because we reached like half a million Finns during the uh, summer holidays. So there were only a few guys, me and the other guy, with zero budget, and still we were able to push it to the, to, through all the lobby against it. And elsewhere in the world it was even noticed. So this is one of the American newspapers saying that maybe this is the way the law should be made. And of course I agree. <laughs> but I think before we are there, a lot of things need to happen. So that was before Ule. And these days I work there as uh, head of I might be restarting the, the show. Because something happened. Yeah, it is over there. But I cannot click it, I guess. So we have to find a way. Put it rolling again. It's going to take a few minutes, I guess. Or we just take the cable out again. This is like disco, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, yes, keep, let's keep going. That was about me. Now about open data within ULE. Um, this is like a story that's developing all the time, so there's no exact beginning because ULA to some extent has always been quite open. At the same time, uh, we are just like opening up the atmosphere, the culture of starting to is growing steadily, like almost every day. Here you can see one of the, unfortunately not the URL, even when you get the slides you will see, but if you go to read our blogs, there are a few of these. these are unfortunately in Finnish because mostly we communicate in Finnish so I've translated most of the slides made by me in English anyway there are like what's open data in the in action and that we are actually starting it and this was like a year ago and uh, I'm going to give you some examples what this data opening is really all about as one example of, of the data that we are we are putting out there through uh, Google services so here is uh, for Yleisradio Verkko ja mobiilipalveluiden päivätavoittavuus, meaning Yle Network and Mobile Services Daily Reach. 
And if you go to read this blog post, you can see that there's actually data in there, and that's the interesting part. So on the, on the second slide that is coming soon, there is the rolling NP. And this is, for example, one of the benchmarks that is quite hard to come by from the, from the, uh, from the internet. Even though it's commonly measured, it's very hard to say whether we are doing well or not. So as a public service, we are also giving out this data. So the data here is uh, in um, Google spreadsheet. And um, that spreadsheet is being split to two slides. So that's why I'm s saying it like explicitly that check out the both, uh, um, both, how do you say, tabs which are opening from that um, spreadsheet. Because in there, you can see that the data. So here you can get the benchmark. And we probably try to make an update for this for this year as well. But you can see the people saying at certain time whether they would be recommending our service or not, and also whether they were successful by using it. They might pop in like everywhere in the service. And this is when you try to visualize it a bit, made by me. I'm not a, uh, a data visualization or analyst, but I try to do this on my pastime. So there you can see that mostly people do like it a lot when you go up and when you go to the right they find it interesting as well. So of course these are heavily correlated as you can imagine, but like how much is the question. And this is about how successful people think that they are aware. And of course if you, if you improve your system, this should steadily go up. But if you notice this axis already like 91%, like that it's very high, it's very hard to get better. So I would say that's a bad trick, even though usually it's quite good and new services. And here you can see by sex, is there a difference between men and women with the colors? And there are two services. This is Arena, that is news. So you can start to see the differences in there quite quickly. And the green is actually people not stating out their sex. In this one, you can see the different services, all that are in, in that rolling questionnaire. Uh, and there are services like our archive, or certain programs that are having their own, or even our search. And then you can see the NPS segments, the green being good guys and the, the red ones disliking the service. And if you subtract those two, this is the score, NPS score that you can get. And all this variance is coming because you don't get that many answers if you start to split up by so many different variables. So what we have to do for this uh, to make sense of it, to smooth it out. But now you start to see the difference between people who are very young or very uh, uh, late in their lives and, and like which kind of services they actually like and where we have a lot of data like at the top there is the news. And you can also compare quite quickly like which are the, the services that people like or not. And finally this is the last, last example by ma made by me like what's the difference by sex. Like uh, this is news if you take 50 year old women and men, you can quickly see that the females like it more, which is actually quite surprising to me. It's almost like 10 percent in the NPS or 10 points in NPS score. That's even more surprising. Exactly, exactly. And these can, you can kind of just glimpse there and get, get a look. But of course, we are opening up a lot more other things. Like here are a few more blog posts that you can find, and they are the URLs. I, I put them up there. We are providing embedding for people to start to use the contents of archives. And uh, the latest one was actually just during the summer, old photographs that are being opened slowly. We cannot open everything with like, like the whole archives because the cost would be like 1.5 billion uh, or, or milliards in, in Finnish. Uh, we cannot do it immediately. So what we have to do is take something instead. But now to the APIs, this is my beef. This is what I do. The question from the strategic point of view, I can be making it very polemic. Is this what's happening for ULA? We're actually going to lose our relevance. People are paying like taxes, but not using the SIS services. And at some point we will s just scratch whole ULA. I think I like to even frame it like that, and that's fine for me because, well, I'm just doing work there. But if you look at this, they are the people with different ages, and the old people, we can reach like everyone, every day. But then if you go to the youngsters, we don't. We get only half of them or one third of them. And the trend is going down. 
And when these people get older and they actually start to pay the taxes, they are not going to smile. At some point there are going to be riots. There are other trends as well. They are going to be the mobile. So this is the mobile segment here growing fast. But actually the orange one is most interesting, that is very tiny, because that's the gaming consoles. I would not have guessed that people are using gaming consoles to reach ULE.F5, but they are, and that's increasing. And this is another big trend, people are using mobile in wild settings. Like in, in these few examples that I have here, this is coming from the football, <laughs> not the ice hockey like the previous one, football during the summer. People have to enjoy the summer when they have it, especially in Finland, because it's only a moment. You blink at that time, it's gone. So you have to take the football while you are having the fishing. Or going to the top of the mountain and having fun with your loved one. And this relaxation is actually a big part of it. And this change is something that the people who are quite old don't get, because they don't do it. We, I think, we, all of us, we do get it. This is how you enjoy with your little one. This is your quality time. <laughs> you are cheering for them, right? <laughs> because they, they really catch the fish. Anyway, uh, one example of how we are using the APIs is Uutiswahti. That's like a uh, news alerting system. An application made <coughs> with uh, Quick. This is Quick's web page. I try to take the important part there in English. So this was designed especially to serve the underserved people, that the people that we cannot reach with the traditional channels. They require mobile, web, especially not tele. And then what we get are these kind of comments which are awesome. This is not translated, so let me try, try to translate that in English. I just got fed up with the net, so luckily something like this popped out. So these are youngsters, they don't like to use the web, that's passé, and yet we, we people, we try to make it happen. So that's a challenge for organizations as traditional as, as ULE, I guess. So one example how we try to make things better is of course building traditional things that people require to know what's on the telly and when. And this has been just redone during this year, or actually already last year. Uh, and all of this, what you can see, is coming over the APIs. Not any more internal system being just integrated next to each other. The way we do it is that we also take the metadata and we try to harmonize it. So we have multiple systems, like, I don't know, five different syst main systems for, for broadcasting. We get the data, we try to harmonize, and then after APIs, it, it should be easier to use. Whether it's easy or not depends on you. Here is an example of the, to make this happen, this is what you get as situation over the APIs. And then all of the data is in there, like whether there is a title or not, and whether that's for just having fun. And there are the links like in there where you get the ID to get some more data about that. But this, to be able to set all of this up, we need to have some form of framework. So. This is one that I used internally to explain things for people. What needs to happen before we can make this happen? This is slide from IBM, like at the bottom right, you can see. So you need to have the DevOps there and the uh, infrastructure. You also need to have the marketplaces, self-service portal. And then you, of course, need the technical parts in there. And you have to think where you are going to actually run all, the, all of this. So instead of doing all of this, I started to scratch everything away, just to focus to the minimize things. And then uh, just for the self-service portal, this is actually already out there. So if you want to click on it, you can go and check. We have opened the first API, the program API, to be able to make these kind of things like the program guide. And this is the documentation for all the, all the endpoints that we have for the API. If you click one of these open, you can start to fill in all the fields, and these are the things you need to be able to use it. I give them personally at the moment, so it's self-service, meaning I'm self-servicing you. <laughs> but in the future, you can just click on it and, and make up the, the app, uh, API keys for your own use. Here's another IBM slide, like what's needed from the readiness point of view. What kind of skills does the organization need? And 
I've roughly marked where I think where we are. And there are some things where I think we are quite solid because we have this already up and running and there are things where we have to grow like the DevOps to be making it even more smooth. Then there are the journalists who don't get it, like why to do all these kind of things. So I try to make examples with the language that they This was one family inequality blog that was asking why is New York Times so heavily male tilted? Why the f not made by female, female authors? So I then I thought, well, how is this figure for us? And make a case about that. So I take the articles API, I say, give me all the basic news and basic fields for those, and here are my keys. So then I actually get this kind of JSON back. I take this into R and start to analyze a bit, and the answer is about 50%. And I think, end of story, everything is great. We are equal in Finland, not like in the in, in US. But that's not the case. So when you split it up by the sports and the news, the sports is heavily male-driven, whereas the news is a bit more female-driven. Of course, this is only during the February when I was doing this, during the time of Olympic Games. And there is a huge amount of Olympic news and huge amount of... So that's why it turned out that way. Anyway, the architecture, nothing fancy there. We try to take the building blo blocks that we can have and we make the middle layer to enable multitude of different presentation layer uh, views on it and even external views, that's the idea there. We're going to make a service that's giving you the news. To make the prompt, we are going to give you all the back end for free. I even though there are like seven different CMS systems, we give you And on the bottom, we will give you the meta API as well to find the links between the articles and so on. So we try to separate the concerns to make it easy for people to use it. And especially make it easy to use the metadata because we have so much of it. So at the bottom right, they save, but there's also plenty of other tagging, linking, searching, disambiguation when we try to help the journalists. We have to build the search and make it a lot better. And then besides of that, we also need to enable analysis, make the tagging suggestions, and then also later on start to build for all kinds of novel uses for it. So the meta API we, we think at the moment is going to be one of the main crucial APIs, not only give out data, but use it. So the scope of the APIs at the moment is this almost cut. <laughs> Programs API, you know already, media and geo, they are giving out the clips, the video. Then there's the static inf uh, information and static in text. This we are just uh, ramping out to give people an account for ULE to start to take all the information, what you read when you are customer of ULE, and then the meta that I already explained. And to be able to start to run, run through all of this, we have to start to make the first thing first, make the registration, start to give out more APIs out. To make those happen, I want to have more content. But to get there, we have to skip doing this. This is what Agile usually is. You have an idea, you try to make the product as quickly as possible. You concentrate on being good at building things. And if you do it very well, you end up eliminating waste. So in the actual, you concentrate on all of these three. You have to have the coach, the, uh, the, uh, the product owner, and then the development team. And there is the sweet spot. And everything goes well, you try to make it bigger. However, what I want to really drive home in my internal teams, but also for you guys is this. Lean Startup is saying, don't concentrate on making the sweet spot better. Concentrate on this. Are we building the right thing? If we are not, it doesn't matter to build it very quickly because you're just wasting a lot of work. Not wasting by concentrating. And the way we try to do it is like this. We try to make the value and flexibility through the APIs. Unfortunately, these you cannot read, but it's saying external partners ecosystem. So we want to position ourselves to this, the goose that lays the golden eggs. But we want to get plenty of people to be here as satellites, as still having a link to us, and to be able to make an attack for problems which are hard, like this. Uh, Netflix is used 
250 million per year to support all the platforms. Our budget is 500 something. I don't think that the boss is like when I say, let me have half of it, just to have all the devices covered. <coughs> it won't happen. The way we can do is, is through the external partner ecosystem and to be able to make that work well, we have to do it our, ourselves first. We have to know that these APIs actually work. We build the first version and when then we have the proof. Then we can start to have other people use it as well. So this is my goal. I try to make people a able to surf, start to have fun with all the content and the APIs that we have. Of course, this is going to be so, so <coughs> long journey. I just try to condense it. Just to give you a few ideas what could be done, I, I take the first one, the programs API. So I think we are in partnership with Nelon and an MTV to have uh, this kind of service called tv.fi to let people know what's out there, what at, what's what's coming from the telly. For me, this is bad service. Because in my case, I have half an hour after the baby goes to sleep. This service is not saying to me, what should I do? It's saying me, what's in the telly? But I'm not interested in what's in the telly. I'm interested in what should I do? Should I check the dog ventures of the week? Or can I afford to have fun with the ice hockey? So, Especially if there's a big game on the telly, this should s shout that to me, even though I have been saying I just watch documentaries from the, from the telly. It should know better, but it doesn't. <laughs> so make it better, make it for me. Anyway, this is the past and the future at the same picture. The past, people are still thinking the tower is the big thing. We, we are building the net thing that is underground and still people are using it a lot, for example, for the football season. One more thing, big organizations, they tend to stick on the right-hand side. They are the laggards. They think most of the people are the laggards. And then you try to say, yeah, but the internet is here. And then when we get the early adopters, we are able to get the big fish. But you are not talking in the same way. So have this in mind when you talk to the people, they have the mindset of laggards, you have the mindset of innovators, and there's a huge chasm here. And when, you, when you're able to start to make all of these things fly for your mom, then you know you're onto something. So my final words, take this, take a good eye on things, focus, focus on one thing, and then start to dance. Have some kind of model, this is how it should go, but remember that the models, they are not everything. They are just models, they are just pictures on the wall. This is how it should go, but it's not a real thing. So start leading, start doing it on your own. Take a posture and start walking with someone. And then if you keep doing it, if you are on it for a long time, keep practicing it, you start to get better. And at some point you start to enjoy it. The m to the point where there is a lot of emotion in there, like real tango, not only Finnish tango. <laughs> and a lot of sweat, and the sweat is the nice part, not the ugly part of it. Eventually, if you keep doing it, this is what will happen. <laughs> yeah, so keep on dreaming, because no one other is going to come up with all of these ideas. You will, and I already heard a few ideas, I think they are great. It sucks to be your competitor. <laughs> <laughs> so have, have vision. You have to have that idea what's the floating island over there, even though you don't even know the steps there yet. But do have some kind of vision. Otherwise, start to think about what's my next step, not where we're actually going. Don't do this. Don't watch everywhere. Don't watch everybody, especially your competitors, are doing. This is like a waste of time. You should be doing whatever you think is the most important thing. So, that was my part. Any questions? And the reason why I was rushing was because I heard this is going to be Pecha Kucha, which is like 20 seconds per slide. And then I started to pile them up. Oh, it's going to be like 80 slides.
oh, I made a mistake in calculation. It's only 60 that I can make in 20 minutes. So then I had too many of them. I start to start to skip them to, to be able to fit it in 20 minutes. So sorry for my first pay. Question on the API, uh, API management. Do you have an API management mm -hmm. product in mind or are you considering? Mm -hmm. Yes, we have. Kind of getting, getting you know, structure around the API. Yes. So we are having multitude. We try to take the like best of best of breed kind of approach. Uh, of course, considering what we can afford. Yeah. Um, at the moment, we are using three scale, yeah. three scale as uh, as the main product. But of course, the documentation is a separate thing. The code base is a separate thing. Having the issue log is for that we use Jira yeah. uh, because we have like, history using it. I don't think it's the best tool around, but we get chopped down, so we use it. Uh, so it's a multitude, of course. Yeah, I would have given you uh, the most recent snapshots like where we are with the uh, API requests, hits and so on, but uh, that would have been coming from New Relic as an uh, internet thing. Can you give you an idea of, uh, an idea of how much sort of API traffic volume you have today, roughly, so internal and external? Yeah, actually I haven't been looking up like late figures like this month or so, but the snapshots that you were maybe seeing there were like 4 million and that was during the spring. 4 million hits per day yeah. to the API layer. These days we are about 40 million per, per day. Oh wow. And um, it's growing without me doing anything. <laughs> I just try to cope with it. <laughs> because um, every person who's taking an iPad and installing an app there is going to hit my API layer yep. all the time yep. and even ping it. So it's going to be constantly up when it's up and running in the, in the device. And the same, of course, happens for every new piece of technology that people are, are buying right. from the stores. So that's why we are growing. Uh, we are growing because we also introduce new services, like the, uh, the Yle Tunnus, Yle Account mm -hmm. API. It's being launched, so people are signing up, and, and um, that way we are all the time growing the usage of it. But that's roughly the ballpark. I don't even have a like estimate where we are going to be because there are so many factors that build up like what what are all the services using the same API and so on and so forth. Yeah. I choose the cinema account uh, <laughs> for the <laughs> profile service. Is it open and free? <laughs> um, no, we should uh, create a vision <laughs> on that because uh, <laughs> that would be interesting. Uh, <laughs> uh, Miko. Very good question. And I have to say, I, I, I work a lot on that, so it's like quite a current theme. The API access that I can provide at the moment, but we have not launched like made it, made it big yet because at the moment the problem is about content. So um, the aim is that everybody could be making services like Yle Arena. Like when there is a new device like Yoiku, oh sorry, what is a Yolla, not Joiko, Yolla, almost the same. Uh, that someone would be able to hack it together even though we are not supporting it right away. So that's the aim. Uh, but to get there we also need to get access to the content and, and be able to let people have it. <coughs> and at the moment I think we are reaching a point where we have agreement about most of that with the copyright lawyer segment. However, it's not completely clear yet. So that's why I'm, I'm like stalling it. I'm not putting it out yet. But I hope like the soonest, but there's no date. On it. So any day soon or, or month soon, hopefully not years to come soon, but as soon as possible. Yeah, the question was, yes. So, yeah, the question I was asking it again because I just got the, 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 the instruction to repeat the question. So let me try to repeat. Uh, you're asking if you understood correctly that you can use also the contents over the APIs commercially. 
and the answer is so multi-sided and faceted that it's very hard to give but let me try to make it easy my intention is that I give access to the API layer then you can code up an app and you can show everything that we show in Yle Arena at the moment it's not possible but that's the goal so we are going slowly there but of course there are going to be so many hurdles and blocks uh, during the time there just as an example that I don't know what was covering extensively during the early summer Koti Katu a series made and bought by Yle like I don't know 90s I, I haven't ever watched one <laughs> one part of that series costs like more than 100 million to be able to rebroadcast it and even though we have it I cannot put it to even to Yle Arena not to even start to talk about how about the APIs as well but the restrictions on how to use the API we are going to have an API license which is already sketched out it's going to say basically that here are the keys but we can take it take them away if you are nasty and then we are saying you have to use the brand correctly so Ule needs to be in there but you cannot sell it with the brand of Ule it has to be your own service uh, then we are also saying that you have to give us the data how much it's being used so that we are able to measure it and start to use that to make better services and, and even know what people are consuming uh, there might be other few kind of restrictions but thi these are the main restrictions and then hopefully over time we will have all the content coming over the API as well but not at the moment internally yes externally not yet final question yeah uh, Ideas like Yes. The question was how agile is Ule, how easy it is to come up with new ideas like an app or service and, and roll it out and, and make it happen and so on. And the answer is I would bet that you are way more agile than we are. However, we try to be a lot more agile and depending where you are at the organizational chart, the different bosses have different ideas. And as long as you just get some pile of money to be able to execute on it, it should be pretty easy. There are things which are made out of fun, like Botsikot. If you have not checked, check them out, they are hilarious. Botsikot is making new headlines automatically, just by taking all the headlines in circulation and recombining them, uh, which is it's totally crazy perfect uh, system made during the Christmas by one developer not having anything to do <laughs> for a few days uh, then there are other systems like the API if you have some idea for it unfortunately I have to say like I have four APIs in line so yours will be fixed if ever so probably not going to happen like in a year or two at the same time it's if it's very good idea and and somewhat doable and maybe we can even test it then yes I'm going to be way more receptive to that and if that idea is also something that you can start to contribute and then later on like give it for us to support and, and expand even better now I start to smile and if you can also bring a developer with you or money <laughs> it's even easier but of course I do have my own budget so within that I can be quite uh, self-organizing what should be done like uh, I will be making the judgment calls on that and that's partially because we are under the radar so if you go and talk with the bosses of Ule they probably cannot explain at all what is the API strategy and what are going to become the outcomes of it and so on and that's fine for me because that means we have one more year to smile <laughs> <laughs> so. I will ask you <laughs> Okay, yeah. <laughs> thank you, thank you very much. Thank Give you a round much. of applause for Alexi. Thanks. We, we now have a short break, um, whereas the, the next speaker will be uh, setting up. Um, and uh, so uh, a small break. Unfortunately, guys, I have to run to the airport. I cannot leave the podcast for like two hours.